All right, guys, what is up? So Syria, A uh, team of the season so far is out. I'm going to tell you how to get the objectives as quickly and easily as possible. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm filming this video outside, so it might be a little bit of ambient noise, but you should be able to follow along. So talking about briefly about the objectives, I was going to get Galtze and put him as a cam, but with the objectives, um, with Nakuku, who is the new 90 rated center mid for the Bundesliga. Um, I'm close to picking that up. Just got a couple more squads to go. And with Sabitzer, the other objective, uh, which I'm going to get soon here. Um, just one more objective to go there. I'm probably going to go and get uh, Untidi again. But let's get on to Syria A. So with Syria A, you got two guys. You got Jao Pedro and you got Boga. Now, once again, this one, Boga, is you have seven days to get him. And this guy, you have 13 days, 14 days to get Jao Pedro. So you want to focus on Boga first, okay? So the most difficult objective is going to be, or the one that's probably the most time consuming, is going to be score and assist in six separate squad battle matches on world-class difficulty or rivals using Ivorian players. Uh, so players from the Ivory Coast. I'm probably going to do this in rivals. Um, this one I'll I might do in, in uh, squad battles. It's only professional difficulty across in two matches you don't even need to win with Syria A midfielders that have a minimum of three star skill moves so if you have someone like uh, Politano uh, that should be very easy to do this one's going to be one you want to work on as well um, outside of the box goal in two squad battle matches probably easier to do in rivals because it's easier to to do a fake and get a little bit of room outside the box than in the world class difficulty in um in squad battles uh this one will probably happen as you as you do this so my idea for this build an ivorian team and try to get these ones as you're getting these six wins so i'm going to show you the squad i put together uh for this ivory coast here all right so you got zaha he's pretty easy to pick up if you don't have him this is a Syria A uh, rare, so he'll be a little bit more expensive right at the moment. Fortunately, I picked up uh, Jovino, um, and he can help with those crosses as well. So I'm going to look to keep him wide and cross him. These two guys, though, um, so I basically put, put together an Ivorian team. Uh, because I'm going to have the Syria A uh, connection, I just kind of put a couple stabilizers here, but this team should be should be pretty good to win some battles anyhow this guy is someone you might want to pick up okay I was fortunate enough to pack him so I've got him on my squad already um, now you see that he has the sniper uh, that doesn't really help with the long shots so for the long shots um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using this guy I've already got the sniper on him uh, finisher would be a better one to put on I put finisher on uh, Jambin who this is the guy I'm gonna look to kind of you know put on get forward and try to get those outside of the box shots so these are uh, the Ivorians are gonna be a fast team obviously so I'm gonna use these guys to speed and maybe cross back and you know have one of these guys try to bury it from outside the box now with outside the box shots you want to kind of turn and do a finesse shot to the opposite corner but they need to have a certain long shot power and that's why you want to put on the um that's why you want to put on the finisher because that adds 15 long shot um the other guy that uh actually i'll probably put in put in this guy and put a finisher on him. Uh, I just picked him up for seven grand uh, because, well, there aren't that many strong Ivorians. And, you know, this guy's probably about 30, 40. 
um, so you can pick him up. This guy was only available in foot miss. Um, so if you if you're not picking up this guy, I'd, I'd go for one of the upgraded uh, Pepe's, but he's someone who can definitely uh, help you. Kessie, this is a guy that's uh, Syria A uh, rare, so he's going to come in handy. But if you can if you have him and you can use him now, play him out wide to help get those crosses in because he is Syria A, uh. and that should be the easiest way to get that objective. And then let's check out the other objective right here. So the other objective is Jao Pedro, okay? So this is score two goals in two separate rivals matches using Brazilian forwards with at least six Serie A players in your starting squad. So you can put them all in the back and midfield and then put whoever you want as your Brazilian forwards. There were a couple good ones that uh, you could have picked up recently if you did some of the earlier objectives. Um, of course, uh, Douglas, Douglas Costa is also a Brazilian forward and Syria A. So, you know, you want to kind of see if you have any Brazilians in Syria A to, uh, to do that. The finesse goal in three separate rivals matches is just, just a finesse goal. You don't even need to win it. Um, so you can use Brazilians from Syria A or not, but you know, set up a Serie A team so you can get this and maybe knock this off at the same time. And then assist with the through ball using players with four, a minimum four star skill moves. Um, if you have Brazilian players in your midfield, that's probably going to cover that um, anyhow. And then clinical and Cagliari, um, score and assist in eight separate rivals wins using Serie A players with four, minimum four star weak foot. That's not going to be very difficult uh, to do. But don't worry about this one because you got 13 days to do that. Focus on this guy, Boga, because again, in a week, there'll be a new, uh, a new sub league coming out, maybe the Chinese Super League. I don't know which one. Um, and there'll be a another objective player as well that will be a week long. So get started on this one. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. And uh, good luck. Remember, don't forget to put on chemistry styles for the objectives because it makes it easier to accomplish them. That's why I did that on some of my uh, Ivorian teams. So, you know, particularly for those outside the box shots, that's going to be a big help. If you put finisher on, it's plus 15 to the, um, to the long shot and long shot is the attribute. You want to have a player that's got a long shot of over 80 at least. And I like over 85 so you know putting the, that finisher really helps with that so with that being said good luck on getting the objectives we'll see you in the next video